Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And Chag Sameach, everybody. Welcome to Shabbat evening services at Congregation Bethel Zedek. I am Rabbi Dennis Sasso with Cantor Melissa Cohen. Cindy Koplow joins us at the Bima as an officer this evening. And uh, for those of you who are joining us by live stream, we're delighted to have you with us at the Kaufman Shukman Chapel. And those of you who join us in person, we're delighted to have you in the Kaufman Shukman Chapel. Um, as this is the Shabbat of Chol Hamoed Pesach, the middle days of the holiday of um, Passover, the introduction to the evening service for Shabbat is abbreviated. You've had enough at the Seder, right? So we're gonna give you a little bit shorter than usual service, uh, but we are gonna enjoy it and sing together because we're gonna start the service on page 19 of the prayer book, uh, celebrating the theme of Pesach, which is the theme of spring. And what is the theme of spring? Love. So we're gonna celebrate love. We sing verses from Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs, the love poem in the Bible. Dodili um, va'anilo, I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Page 19, let us sing along with the cantor. Dodili va'anilo, haroe va'shoshanim, dodili. The theme of uh, Dodi repeats itself uh, in the Shabbat evening service, of course, when we uh, sing Lecha Dodi, come my beloved to meet the Shabbat bride. So in the spirit of companionship, in the spirit of family, in the spirit of love, we welcome Shabbat with the candle blessing on page five. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kidoshanu Bemitzvotav vetsivanu Lehadlik nehesh el shahavat Blessed are you, eternal God, sovereign of all worlds, who has made us holy with your mitzvot and enjoined us to kindle the Shabbat lights. Please read with me in the middle of page four. Almighty God, grant me and all my loved ones a chance truly to rest on this Shabbat. May the light of the candles drive out from among us the spirit of anger, the spirit of harm. Send your blessings to all our children that they may walk in the ways of your Torah, your light. Amen. So on the uh, middle Shabbat of the festival of Pesach, we dispense with the introductory psalms of the Kabbalat Shabbat service, but we do include the psalm for Shabbat. On page 51, please um, join with the cantor in the closing verses uh, of the psalm. It is good to give thanks to the eternal to sing to your name, Most High, to proclaim your name in the mornings and your presence at night time. And the cantor continues with uh, Tzadik Katamar at the bottom of page 51. Tzadik Katamar Yifrach Keres Balvaron Yiske Shetulim Bebeit Adonai Bechatzrot Eloheinu Yafrihu Od Yenun Beseva Deshenim Leranim Yiru Lehagid Kia 
And we turn back a bit in the prayer book to page 41 as we usher the presence of Shabbat with Lechadoti. We sing the verses on pages 41 and 43 and then rise at the last verse on page 47 and turn to the entrance to welcome the presence of Shabbat. Lechadoti, come my beloved, let us greet the bride, the presence of Shabbat, let us bring inside. Now that we have welcomed the presence of Shabbat, let us uh, exchange greetings of Shabbat Shalom. You may cross aisles or just wave or extend greetings and uh, at your comfort level. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 
How good it is for family, for friends to come together in unity. How good it is to give thanks to the eternal, to sing out to God's name supreme, telling of God's kindness in the morning and faithfulness at night time. Please remain standing for the Bar Hu, the call to evening prayer, page 57. Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'ed Ba'amen Please be seated. Well, we have just sung the words Hine Ma Tov uh, Ma Tov And sometimes we sing the song Ma Tovu Ohaleha Yaakov. And at the Passover, the Passover Seder, just recently, we began another important passage with the word ma. What is that? Ma nishtana. And how do we translate ma nishtana? Most Haggadah say, why is this night different from all other nights? Mm -hmm. I propose that that is incorrect. It is. Hmm? <laughs> My Haggadah translates it correctly. What does it translate? How different that is, correct. is this night? See, mm -hmm. it is an exclamation. How different is this night from all other nights? You see all the stuff that's mm -hmm. going around, and uh, things are different. It's like... Ma tovu ohaleha, Yaakov. How good are your tents, O Jacob? Or he ne matov. Behold, mm -hmm. how good and how pleasant. It's not why. Mm -hmm. It is how. And then come the questions. So the opening line is not a question. The opening line is an observation. Mm -hmm. So at your next Seder, translate Manishtana correctly. It's true. Otherwise, it would look as if though there are five questions. Yes. Yeah. But there's not. It's just four. It's true. I'm getting a lot of questions about the Haggadah by emails from people I know and, <laughs> and people that I don't know. So uh, this is uh, one that I like to repeat every year because, because it is the four questions, people think it has to begin with why. It's not a why. It's an exclamation. So let's continue to exclaim. We continue now with an exclamation of thanksgiving for the gifts of nature that surrounds us, the seasons, the days, the cycles of life. Page 59, let us read together in Hebrew. Page 59. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim Bechokma Poteach Shearim Uvitvuna Meshane Itim Umachalif Et Azmanim Um Sader Et HaKochavim Vamishmerot Barakia Kirtsono Bore Yom Valayla Golel Or Mipnei Choshech Vechoshech Mipnei Or Umaavir Yom Umevi Layla Umavdil Bein Yom Uvein Layla Adonai Tzvah we continue with Ahavat um, Olam as we give thanks for the gift of Torah that is our pathway in the world. Ahavat Olam Abet Yisrael Amachaha Ahavta Torah umitzvot kukim o mishpahatim otanu limad eta al kein Adonai Eloheinu b'shochvinu uvekumeinu nasiach bechukecha v'nismach bedivri Torah telcha uvemitzvot telcha le'olam. 
Amen. We rise for the affirmation of faith with the Shema on page 65. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vaed Uve shok peka, uve kunaka, ukshar taham le ohotal ya daka, the hayu le tota pohot bene naka, uktab daham al mezu sohot betaka, uvi hi shadaka. Continue silently coming together with Lamanti Skiru at page 73. Please be seated. Every uh, day we rehearse twice a day, morning and evening, the core theme of the Exodus of Pesach, which is the redemption from Egyptian bondage. So as we uh, prepare to sing the words of the Micha Mocha, let us read responsibly on page 76. Um, this is a meditation from the 1945 Reconstructionist prayer book, uh, which focuses on redemption from the pharaohs that oppress us in every generation. Dan, would you read us, uh, lead us responsibly? We acknowledge as true and then we respond every other paragraph. We acknowledge as true and trustworthy that there is but one universal God and to that God service Israel stands eternally committed. We recognize in God the power that has enabled us to triumph over defeat, persecution, and oppression. For God wills that we be free to use our powers in holy service and be not bound to the arbitrary rule of any mortal. Whenever human rulers assert divine authority and exploit the people, those tyrants' hearts are hardened with their own arrogance, right their doom. Therefore, we will never be discouraged nor dismayed when unrighteous powers rise up to destroy us. We therefore repeat the words of triumph with which they gave thanks for their deliverance. History kind of repeats itself as we move forward, right? Always a little improvement, let's hope. 79, Micha Mocha. Micha Mocha Ba'elim Adonai Micha Mocha Nedar Ba'kodesh Nora Tehilot Osefele Malakuta Karahu Vaneka Bokea Yam Nifnei Moshe Umir Yam Zeli Anu Ve'amru Adonai Imanok Le'olam Ba'ed Le'nehemar Kifada Adonai Et Yaakov Amen. As we turn to the words of the Hashkivenu, we keep in our hearts loved ones who are ill. I did not receive. 
oh, printed material. Here. Here we go. They forgot that I was around. See? You, you disappear for a few weeks, months, and then they just forget you. Here, Cantarellisa, would you read the names? Of course. Please. <laughs> you, you do the introduction. The Hashkivenu is the prayer for evening rest and uh, peace and protection. So at this um, moment, as the uh, shadows fall, we think of those who are living moments of shadow, and we pray for strength and renewal, blessings of healing and uh, restoration to uh, family and friends. Larry Baker, Sue Graham Baker, Brian Doner, Amy Mauer Martin, Ron Safran, Ariel Shoshana, Bat Esther Zelda, Sandra Siegel, Carol Tandy, Chuck Bader, Bob Diskin, Sara Bat Miriam, Lynn Mata, Sippy Bat Gittel, Fran Reed, Dolores Kasef, Naomi Trope, Philip Rubenstein, Loretta Frank, Jenny Green, Linda Burton, Angela Fry, Jeff Linderman, Elaine Safran, Pearl Regenstreif, Wendy Waldmond, Carl Goodfellow, Dan Linderman, Alan Norris, Jerry Greenberg, David Regenstreif, Liam Smullian, Luke Reeder, Carol Amendola, Karen Berman, Sanford Schwartz, D. Schwartz, Marsha Goldfarb, Ruth Hayes, Ruth Katz, Larry Weinberg, and Jean Southerd. Any others that you would care to mention and include in our prayers? Thank you. Muriel Bluestein, was she in that list? I don't think so. When fears multiply and danger threatens, when sickness comes and death confronts us, it is God's blessing of shalom that sustains and upholds us, lightening our burdens, dispelling our worry, restoring our strength, renewing our hope, reviving us. Let us join in singing the Misha Beirach for healing. Um, it's in the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen Bless those in need of healing with refuha shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say amen. May God guard our going forth each day for life and peace now and always, and spread over us the canopy of shalom. Continue on page 85 and join in the singing of Vishamru, the verses from the Torah, the book of Exodus, that celebrates Shabbat as the bond between the generations. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat la-sod et ha-Shabbat Ledorot amberit olam, lai 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 beini, uvin b'nei Yisrael oti le'olam. Ki shishet yamim asa Adonai et ha-shamayim b'et ha-aretz let Israel's descendants keep Shabbat 
making Shabbat throughout all their generations as an eternal bond. Between me and Israel's descendants shall it be a sign eternally, for in six days the fashioner of all made skies and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased and drew a breath of rest. Please rise for the Hatsi Kaddish, page 87. Yitkadal ve yitkadash miraba Be'amad yivrachiru tev yam nikhna kudey Be'ayekon uv yomekon Uv chayedekon beit Yisrael Pagana uviz manakariv Ve'imaru amin Yehi shmira vamevara Le'alam le'alamay olmaya Amen. <laughs> I'd like to invite Cindy to open the doors of the ark as we remain standing for the silent Amidah. Begins with meditation on page 88 and 89, and then the traditional words of prayer beginning at page 90, 91, continuing through page 106. To the words of tradition, we invite you to add the prayers and meditations of your own heart. Please be seated. Well, if it's okay with you, we can devote a few moments just to think, pass over, either review the Seder uh, or ask any questions, or just offer a reflection on the significance of the festival. Um, so I'll just pause, and if anybody has something to say, to ask, to add, please do so. That's good. <laughs> That's okay. You stay. Yeah. Could you speak a little bit louder so people can hear? It's embedded in the in the Haggadah, right? In the uh, segment of the four children. You know, we speak of the four children and we just kind of uh, uh, categorize them and uh, typologize them as the Chacham, the wise, the Rasha, the evil, the Tam, the uh, kind of uh, not yet fully 
developed and the Sheinoyo Daily Shol, the one who doesn't even have the foundations to ask a question. So those are the four types. And uh, even though for each of those four types, uh, the Haggadah provides a quote from the Torah, uh, the message there is that people are different and that none of these four types is just an individuated type, but that in many ways we all carry those four qualities among ourselves, sometimes at the same time, sometimes at different moments in, in our lives. We have been there. We have been the indifferent one. We have been the, uh, the um, isolated one. We have been the insolent one. We have been the uh, don't bore me with this stuff one. We have been the ones that yawn when things are happening in society and we don't want to be bothered. So um, it, did the children respond to your invitation to that awareness? What, what were the ages of the young people who were with you? We were very small. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. But all of the adults. Right. Yeah, it's not just children. It's, I mean, that we, we're talking about adults. There is a wonderful Haggadah, I forget, it's an educational Haggadah, but it has, at that moment in the Seder, it has pictures, graphics, of how different Haggadahs over the generations and how different artists have depicted each of these four types. And the art is very interesting because it, the, the, uh, it points to very different things. Medieval Haggadahs depict the, each of those characters differently than, say, contemporary Israeli Haggadahs. Uh, who was the, the Chacham in the modern Israeli Haggadah? The soldier who was ready to defend the land and, uh, and, um, and, and who was the Tam, the kind of a lazy backward one? They depict the ultra-Orthodox in the, in the picture. So every generation looks at its characters uh, in different ways. What is piety at one time becomes isolation in another. So yeah, th that, that's, that's a core, and sometimes you just gotta pass, oh, the wise, the same, who wants to be the wise, who wants to be the child? But it's not just for children, it's really a, a reflective moment for personalities, characters that we have in Jewish community and in general society. Good. Yes, Noah. We do. Does, isn't that what the Haggadah says at the end? Yeah. Okay. You, are you saying why do we say or why don't we say? Or why, why do we? Or why do we? Okay. Yeah. Um, there are two ceremonies that end with that, two important ceremonies in the Jewish life cycle, Yom Kippur and Pesach. At the end of Yom Kippur, we say L'shanah Bav Yerushalayim, at the end of the shofar blowing. And at the end of the Passover Seder, we say that. Um, remember that for 2,000 years, Yerushalayim was not a tangible reality for Jews. It was a dream. It was something that they had hoped to return to. So that's when the saying emerges. After the destruction of the temple, the Seder itself was a reenaction or a reenactment of the temple service, but now not by offering an, a sacrifice, as an, an animal sacrifice, but by telling the story and letting the, uh, the ritual um, become the way in which we remembered what our ancestors did at the temple. And by the way, the ritual as it develops in the Haggadah is lifted straight out of the Greco-Roman experience of the symposium, the teaching meal, the learned meal, where people would recline and eat and drink and talk and teach. Socrates and his disciples, uh, the, the, the Stoics and their disciples in uh, Roman society. There is no Seder in the Torah. The Seder develops after the destruction of the temple in the early centuries of the Common Era. And what was the symbol of freedom? Well, the freedom person's meal. And uh, 
the ceremony begins to take that. So at the end, the expression next year in Jerusalem simply meant, you know, may next year Jerusalem be restored so that we can celebrate, and that was the hope, so that we can celebrate the Seder as our ancestors did in the city of Jerusalem with the land restored, the temple rebuilt. That was the hope. It was a yearning for freedom. It's the last gasp of freedom at the end of the Seder. May we be free in Jerusalem. Um, in more contemporary times, uh, before the State of Israel was established and soon thereafter, people added another word to that. And we said, Lishana Ba'ab Yerushalayim Ha'benuya. Next year in Jerusalem, rebuilt, restored. And um, so Jerusalem is in the Jewish tradition more than a destination, more than a place. It is a state of mind. It is a way of looking at the world. It is a way of hoping. Unfortunately, we experience uh, in reality that Jerusalem is not only a, a point of unity but a, and conversions, but also a, a place of a great deal of pain and disunity um, nowadays. Uh, not only among the three diverse religions that look to it as a, uh, as a sacred place, but even among our own people. When we talk of Jerusalem as more than just a city, but Jerusalem as a symbol uh, for the state restored. So the hope for a united, restored, at peace Jerusalem remains, I think, a very um, imminent reality, hope for reality. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Well, the Seder is a great learning tool, and it takes us, remember, the Seder is a very, it is not taken from any one source. It has elements of Bible, it, had el it has of Torah, it has elements of rabbinic literature, the Talmud, the Mishnah, it has elements of medieval uh, experience, the opening of the door for Elijah. All that was introduced in the Middle Ages during the uh, persecutions of Jews. Elijah became a symbol of hope, of peace. You opened the door. Why else did they open the door? Because Jews were accused in many European countries at this time of the year of killing a Christian child and offering uh, the child as a sacrifice. So the Jews would open their doors so that the community could see that there was nothing detestable going on in there. So today we associate the opening of the door with welcoming Elijah, who is a symbol of hope. And in every generation, we add something new to the Seder. Now we don't have a cup for Elijah only, we have a cup of Miriam. Because in the feminist movement, women uh, have brought additional interpretations. Miriam was the source of, of uh, satisfying the thirst uh, of the Israelites during the desert. It is said that um, where with Miriam traveled a well from which the Israelites drank. When she died, the well disappeared because Miriam died. So what is the first thing that Moses does after Miriam dies, after he mourns briefly for her? He's angry. He smacks a rock when he is told to speak to the rock. God says, speak to the rock that it may bring water. What rocks are aquifers, stones, right? But he, he's still mourning for his sister. So he smacks the rock out of, out of uh, grief, out of anger. So new meanings added based on ancient texts and the experiences of the, uh, of the people in the course of history. Okay, let's move on and um, sing a summation of the Amidah with the uh, Magena Vot on page 111. This is a prayer that captures the uh, various uh, themes, the seven themes of the silent Amidah. Magena vot bidvaro mechaye kolchai memaha maharo ha el ha kadoho shehen kamohu ameni achle ha hamo 
ביום שבת קודשו קיבם רצה להניח להם קיבם רצה להניח להם לפניו נעבוד ביראו הפחד ונודה לשמור בכל יום תמיד מעין הברכות אל ההודעות אדון השלום מקדש השבת ומברך שבי ומניח פי קדושה ועמדו שנעונג זכר למעשה למעשה וראשית And we have talked about Miriam, so let's sing Miriam's song. Is it printed in the... It's on the back of the leaflet. On the back yes. of the leaflet. Mm -hmm. um, the song of Miriam, who led the Israelites in dance during the Exodus. And the women dancing with the timbrels followed Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Miriam and the women danced and danced the whole night long. When Miriam stood upon the shores and gazed across the sea, the wonder of this miracle she soon came to believe. Whoever thought the sea would part with an outstretched hand, mm -hmm. and we would pass to freedom and march to the promised land. And the women dancing with their timbrels followed Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Miriam and the women danced and danced the whole night long. And Miriam the prophet took her timbrel in her hand. And all the women followed her just as she had planned. And Miriam raised her voice in song. She sang with praise and might. We've just lived through a miracle. We're going to dance tonight. And the women dancing with their timbrels followed Miriam. As she sang her song, sing a song to the one whom we've exalted. Miriam and the women danced and danced the whole night long. Miriam danced and the Israelites celebrated, so they must have had wine. And we're going to rise for Kiddush now. On the Shabbat, in the middle of Pesach, we recite the regular Kiddush, not the festival Kiddush that we recited at the Seder. Please rise, page 119. Amen. בשבת קודשו באהבה וברצון, הנה חילנו זיכרון למעשה וראשית, כי הוא יום תקילה למקרא קודש, זכר יציאת מצרים, כי באנו בקרתה, ואותנו קידשה. מכל העמים בשבת קודשך באהבה וברצון הנחלתנו ברוך אתה אדוני מקדיש השבת אמן לחיים לחיים And we have some uh, matzah here that you're welcome to come and help yourselves uh, with after service. On uh, the um, week of Pesach, the blessing that we recite over the matzah is just hamotzi, the regular blessing over bread. Only on the first night at the Seder, mm -hmm. or for the second night if you do a Seder. If you do a Seder, you say al achilat matzah, the blessing that is specifically for the mitzvah of eating matzah. So um, 
Please join me. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Amen. Amen. What's next, Cantor? The Omer. Oh, the Omer. We have time to, to count the Omer. Take note of the passage of time that leads us from Pesach to um, Shavuot. We count seven weeks, and this was in ancient times an agricultural counting, because Pesach and um, uh, Shavuot were agriculturally the grain harvest season. Pesach, wheat, and now we begin towards the barley. So Passover, uh, uh, Shavuot at the end is the conclusion of the barley harvest. And then our ancestors uh, interpreted that also to mean the counting, the anticipation of the journey from f of freedom to Sinai. Freedom from bondage, freedom under Torah at Sinai. So the cantor will chant the blessing for the counting of the Omer, and we will indicate the appropriate day. Page 675. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher Kiddushanu b'mitzvotav Vetzivanu Al sefirah ta'omer We are on page 677, the one after number one. Hayom shenei yamim la'omer. This is the second day of the Omer. And with the conclusion of the um, counting, we have uh, the holiday of Shavuot, and in the contemporary tradition and in this congregation, the uh, observance of the confirmation uh, ceremony. Please stay standing, and we turn back to page 121 for Alenu. <laughs> The observance of uh, holy seasons um, brings to mind the loved ones with whom we shared them in years past. So as we recite the Kaddish, we affirm our awareness of holiness in our lives and recognize that so much of our experience of God's goodness, grace, and love came to us through those whose lives have touched our own. On this Shabbat, we remember those who have died in recent days and weeks, Elaine Marcia Seidman, Daniel Winokur, Elaine Atlas, Richard Arthur Gold, Bernard Manuel Hyatt, Rosalind Solotkin, Elizabeth Pratt, Philip Carl Berkowitz. We keep them in our hearts alongside those for whom we mourn and those the anniversary of whose death occurred during the past week as in loving testimony to the faith that links the generations, those who mourn and all who remember, sanctify God's name in the words of the Kaddish. Yit Kadal ve Yit Kadash Shemei Rabbah Beolma divra kiri ute ve yamlich malchute 
בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קריב, ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מברך לעלם ולעולמי עולמיה. יתפרח וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומן ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשה בריחו לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דע אמירן בעלמא ואמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ואמרו אמן. May God the source of peace grant comfort to all who are bereaved, peace to Israel and to all humanity, and let us say amen. You may be seated. Cindy, you have announcements for us? She does. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Um, join Torah Talk tomorrow morning at 9 a.m in the library for discussion on this week's Torah portion. Rabbi Dennis's final cocktail Judaism as senior rabbi, last call with Rabbi Dennis, will be held on Monday, April 10th at 7 p.m. here at Beth El Zedek. He will be interviewed by his longtime friend and very special colleague and life partner, Rabbi Sandy. Passover services will be held Wednesday, April 12th at 10 a.m. And this year's community Yom HaShoah observance is Sunday, April 16th, here at Beth El Zedek at 7 p.m. Please check your announcement leaflet for more information on all other upcoming events. Thank you, Cindy. There's no Sunday school this weekend, is there? No. No Sunday school, okay. The um, closing song uh, the cantor has selected is Al Shlosha Devarim. You'll find it on page 839. It's customary to study the book Pirkei Avot during the six, six weeks that separate Pesach from Shavuot. Pirkei Avot has six chapters. Al Shlosha Devarim is a quote in the first chapter of Pirkei Avot. Al Shul Shadavarim on three foundations the world stands on Torah, on worship, and on deeds of loving kindness. Torah, Avoda, Gemilut Hasadim. Al Shadavarim, Al Shadavarim, Al Shadavarim, Al Shadavarim, Al Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And Hag Sameach. Thanks for joining us.